Welcome to the eighth month and the start of what could best be described as the age of discovery for babies. Your little one has already learned tons, of course, but it's in the months to come that she becomes more active in learning, seeking answers to the mysteries of the world around her. What's inside the cabinet? Exploring with a purpose. My favorite book is here somewhere and beginning to make sense out of cause and effect. I drop my toy, it falls on the floor, and mommy or daddy picks it up and hands it back to me over and over again. But baby's not just boning up on brain power. He's discovered his funny bone and it's ripe for the tickling. Baby's budding sense of humor has you laughing out loud and playing for laughs. Happily, it doesn't take much funny business to crack your cutie up. He's an easy giggle. Moving on, your baby is on the move in one way or another. Any effort is worthy of cheers, whether it's fast flipping, slow creeping and reaching, speedy scooting, or full on crawling. Encourage this newfound mobility in any form. Offer toys on wheels that baby can push or balls to roll. Tempt your little one with a toy that's just beyond her reach and then go ahead. Move the goalpost and see if she moves close enough to make contact. Pull out musical toys that get baby rocking and rolling and activity tables or push toys that won't roll away when your little one tries to take a stand. And speaking of standing, let your baby get all the practice she'd like. Pull her to a stand on your lap or up from a sitting position on the floor. It won't be long until she'll be doing the heavy lifting herself. Your baby's mouth is moving too, as he figures out, by mimicking you, how to make a variety of new sounds and how to put them together in something that sounds like speech, at least to him. Super satisfying, super cute, and a sign that he's talking to you and looking to you for back talk. So keep the conversation going. Discovering the world is challenging work, especially when you're still working on getting around. To fuel that work, make sure your little explorer gets enough sleep by day, about three to four hours divided into two naps or two plus a late afternoon cat nap. And by night, about nine to 11 hours, hopefully all in one stretch. Keep as much as you can to regular nap times and bedtimes. And remember, the busier and more active your baby gets, the more unwinding she'll need before settling down for sleep, making that relaxing bedtime routine more important than ever. Your busy beaver will also need food to fuel those daily adventures. Breast milk or formula are still the mainstay, but solids are stepping up to the plate too and into baby's mouth. Still spooning up most meals, it's definitely time to introduce a new set of utensils to the feeding mix, baby's fingers. If it hasn't already, by a baby led weaning, self-feeding will become the name of the game and ultimately the only game in town. Haven't introduced a cup to up baby's feeding game? An early start to sipping means your little one will be a cup pro by the time bottles go bye-bye, hopefully at about the first birthday. Here's to a happy month eight.